Excel has a function that can help us to separate texts. And this function is called text split. Let's say you have a cell with a sentence or with a text, and you want to use a criteria such as comma, colon, period, space to separate those words, to separate those texts. You can do easily with the text split function. However, this function has a problem, and I'm going to show you here. Anyhow, let's start first understand how can I use the text split function on a daily basis. As you can see, I have a data set with the product information where I have the name, the color, the size, the unit of measure, and also the price. And that way, I want to separate, I want to split this data into the name, color, size, unit of measure, and also the price, equal sign, text is split. Let me double click here, one, two. As the text, the first argument that I have, I want to use the value to the left. And then comma. As my criteria, my delimiter, I want to use comma because the comma is what is separating one thing to another. So open quotations and then comma, close quotations. That's it, simple as that. Now I can close parentheses and then press enter. As we can see, the first row is done. If I click in the, in the bottom right corner of the cell, hold and drag down, you can see that now I'm done. To all the rows, I have the same function and this task is done. I have the name, the color, the size, the unit of measurement, and also the price. But look what's happened here. Instead of I uh, have the pair within the unit of measure, it's in within the price. And instead of having the price within the prices column, I have in a blank column. Why this happen? Because if you take a look here in the data that I have, the problem is with the color. All the other colors has basically one word or words that not require a comma to separate the words. What, I'm, what I mean is, as we can see, sneakers has uh, as the colors gold and then comma, gold, comma, black and white. This is why this color became separate from each other, because there is a, a comma separating the words gold, comma, black and white. However, if I read it off this comma like this and I press enter, now I can solve the problem. Now the color is within one single cell. The size is in the correct column. The unit of measurement too, and also the price. However, imagine if I have a thousand of different rows. I can't do it all the time. So this is a problem within the text split function. If you have something that is not following the standard, you can have a problem like we did here. A tool that can help us similarly with the text split function is the flash field. So take a look here. Instead of manually change all the details to make sure we can have this function works properly, we can use the flash field. The first information that I need is the name. So I'm going to input here the name, the hyphen shirt. I'm going to press enter. Okay, so the first cell is done. However, I have a lot of more, more columns to do and a lot of more rows to do too. But I can easily press in the cell underneath the cell before Control E, Control E to enable the flash field. And that way I can easily extract the name from the product information. If you have some issues hitting the Control E, you can, let's say, let me read it off what I did. And then in the cell underneath, I can go to data. And to the right, I have flash field. If you click here, it's going to work in the same way. However, the Control E is the shortcut key to this tool in Excel. Let me press the flash field. One, two, three. And yeah. So as you can see, I done. Now let's go move on to the color. The color as the first one I have Indian red. Indian red. Okay, enter, control E again. However, I think we have a problem again. So if I take here gold, black, and white, again, I have the same issue or a similar issue as before. The color is not properly matching with the color that I have. But how can I solve this problem using the flash view? You can go to the specific cell where you have the problem and then once you to select the cell and continues to input the data that you need so gold trauma black and white let me press enter and look what's gonna happen excel smartly correct all the issues for me including the, the last cell where we, we have the arrow too uh, let's go now to the size for this size i have large and then control e okay i done but uh, we have some issues here because the size of sneakers is equal to 9 and it's not equal to black and white. It's making no sense, right? So I go to the cell and then I'm going to press 9 to make sure I can correct the data. I'm going to press enter. Okay, and we're done. Now let's go to the unit of measurement. Here we have each. That is a unit. 
Control E, okay, we're done. Now let's go to the price, 15 and 85, 15.85, enter, Control E. So this is how we can use flash view and also the text split function. As we can see, both have advantages and disadvantages. However, the text split function is much difficult to solve the errors. On the other hand, the flash view is much easier. Now let's say, what is the disadvantage to use the flash view in Excel? We can't split the text at once for all the columns. We need to do column by column. This is maybe a issue. I don't see it as a problem because as we have not that much of columns, I can do it easily and fast. However, maybe if you have a lot of different columns, it can be an issue. Another disadvantage to use the flash view, let's say I update a product. Here I have a shirt in the red, uh, the size is large, but I'm going to change the size into a small. I'm going to press enter. And as you can see, the size is still showing the size that I did before this update. However, if I go to the text split function and I, did, I do the same thing, instead of using large, I'm going to use small. I'm going to hit the enter and look what's going to happen with this size right here. Enter. Okay, this automatically updates for me. So this is an advantage to use text split in Excel. That way it's clear. Then you need to check both of those functionalities and see what's going to work the best to help you solve your tasks. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to use the text split function in Excel and also the flash view tool. And if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know. Comment down below and I see you tomorrow as every day has a new video. I see you there.